Brittany Griner was taken into that hearing in handcuffs and led back out again in handcuffs. She declined to answer questions from some waiting media there, but her lawyers later told media that what had happened was that a date had been sent for her trial. Uh, this is on drug charges. She, she was arrested in Russia in February, uh, allegedly for carrying cannabis oil in vaping cartridges, uh, an offence there. Uh, she faces in theory up to 10 years in jail on those charges. Uh, her lawyer says that her detention has also been extended by six months. Now, you'd hope that any trial would not last as long as six months. Uh, but the lawyer uh, telling media that that was also discussed at that hearing today. Brittany Griner was certainly uh, walking and appeared to be physically uh, in good health, but giving no clues uh, to those people waiting at that court uh, as to how she how she's doing uh, several months now into this detention where she's also She's been unable to have any contact uh, with her wife. There was some criticism from her wife recently uh, after a call between the pair had finally been arranged and it fell through because of what was called logistical issues at the U.S. embassy in Moscow. Uh, so clearly uh, a difficult and isolating time for the uh, basketball star there. But some movement in this case now uh, after her arrest in February. There has been speculation that perhaps she could be swapped for a man named Victor Bout. He's a Russian arms dealer. He's in prison here uh, for conspiring to kill U.S. citizens, a very high worth prisoner as far as the U.S. is concerned. Uh, not clear whether Russia would consider that Brittany Griner uh, was a good swap uh, or that the U.S. would consider that Brittany Griner was a good swap for him. There's also another U.S. Marine in a Russian detention. That's Paul Whelan. He's been there for more than three years on espionage charges. Now, his family was very hopeful after the prisoner swap arranged earlier this year with another former Marine, Trevor Reed, that perhaps there could be some movement in his case. So we have no details of any discussions going on, but we did hear as late as yesterday from the Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, naming Griner and Whelan specifically and saying that he had no higher priority uh, than to get people like Brittany Griner and Paul Whelan back home. So clearly uh, those cases would certainly have, uh, there's some urgency added to any negotiations going on by news that this trial is proceeding with Brittany Griner set to begin on Friday.